going everyone? How you doing? Welcome back to the channel. My name is actually you don't hear me. And today, ladies and gentlemen, we have UBA week six. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's six. I'm 99% like sure it's six. Uh, against Lionheart plays. We only ever played him once competitively. We scraped by with a victory. That was a very close one. It was a fun battle. Um, this time around, though, I'm expecting it to be a, a slaughter. <laughs> um, there is one Pokemon on his team that quite frankly can just obliterate my entire team so um if we can somehow handle it I, I he still has like three other pokemon that i'm terrified of so it's gonna be a fun battle <laughs> now nah, we love him Bert's on this channel we love him um of course check him out in the description down below he does a lot of pokemon content on on his side as well he also has been doing uh some playthroughs of you know vanilla playthroughs of pokemon games recently so please be sure to check all that good stuff out and check out all the other coaches. Sorry, I am sweating. Check out all the other coaches in the league as well. Go subscribe to them. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get all linked up with Umberto, and then we'll uh, we'll talk a little more about the game plan. Alrighty, we are here and linked up with Mr. Line High Plays. Um, if he'll select the darn rules. No, seriously, what? Oh, he's probably entering. He usually does his intros, I think, while we're selecting rules, so. Um, how do I solve this a little bit? <laughs> uh, so how about that sports game uh, earlier today? That was that was crazy. Did you guys see that? Uh, the sports game yesterday. Even crazy. Oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> so we have our current party. We're going to be rocking Walking Lake, Glaring Weezing, Volcarona, Groudon, Infinite, and the Nine Tails. Let's see who he brings. I'm pretty sure I know who he's gonna bring. I'm like confident at least four. I know four for sure. And I got them. Okay, cool. Um, you know what? I half expected him to not bring iron leaves. I half expected him to not bring iron leaves. Not that surprising, honestly, that he he didn't bring it. Um Humberto is a very ballsy battler. So he will leave Pokemon at home if he doesn't think it'll benefit his team. Um, and I had a feeling he might not bring it. It's all good, though. It's all good. Um, I won't lie. That's kind of Volcarona's purpose. Uh, partially. It is definitely partially Volcarona's purpose. But I was, I'm was i not surprised to not see it. So we're leading Walking Wake. And we're just going to try and go for it. <laughs> I have a feeling with this team, he's, I, I, my, my only, I'm not digging into his team too much. My only log, logical two leads are Cleavor and Maridon just off the top of my head. I could see him leading Alola Ninetales and going for the freeze dry. That is possible. Set up the snow, expecting me to go drought. That is a perfectly good option. Alola Ninetales was on my list. Um, the only one I missed was Iron Leafs. I just said it because it's his legend. Grimmsnarl was the next one I actually did expect. That was like seven, um, but the rest of them I did expect. Uh, oh yeah, our cards are kind of the same. Our profile pictures. So I could see the, the Ninetales lead. Grimmsnarl. He's gonna set up a screen. Oh! <laughs> He's gonna set up a screen. He's gonna set up a screen. Um, it makes me kind of want to go here, but he probably has Ice Punch. You can't really do anything. I don't really want to give up Walking Wake here. So we're gonna go. We're gonna go here. We're gonna go to Mr. Schmancy. We're gonna go to Mr. Schmancy. Does he straight up attack here? I don't... Spirit Break would be the only move I'd see. But I expect him to do some kind of setup. Some kind of setup. Parting shot, you... You didgeridoo. Mother trucker. Parting shot, that's... I don't know why. I don't know what I just said. <laughs> Oh no, that sucks. That's actually really bad. That's actually really, really, really bad. Oh, I think we already lost. I'm not gonna lie. Dranger is the Cleavor. Okay. Kind of saw this coming. Do I click Defog right away? I click Defog right away. Tailwind. Does Defog get. Defog, Defog doesn't get rid of that. Defog doesn't get rid of that. Does it? No, it doesn't. Man, I'm like answering and not. It doesn't, yeah, that's what I thought. God. I should have just clicked Toxic Spikes, to be honest. It's 
transfer. Why not? Acrobatics, that's fine. I have a feeling he has Z-Fog on his own. I have a feeling he has he has it on his own as well. So I could see him clicking Defog here. Who do I want to take in acrobatics? So that's the issue. That is the issue. I really don't want to let this thing go down. But minus one is the problem. Uh, defog, yeah. Okay. This isn't gonna do a whole heck of a lot. I mean, it'll do a, a it'll do a little bit. Bank on the crit. I have a feeling he's gonna try and do his thing now. I wouldn't be surprised. Stone axe. I knew it, and I, I was, I was thinking it, and I should have just pressed it. I should have just clicked it. I should have just clicked. Uh, what you call it? I should have just pressed defog. I knew it. I freaking knew it. I know him. I know him, and I should have just done it. I know him. So the tailwind's gone. He's gonna get that set up again. Yeah. Oh, that's annoying. That is annoying. We're gonna let you go. I should have just. Well, it gets rid of his spikes too, to be fair. That does get rid of his spikes too. The only reason Schmancy's here was to get rid of the, the stuff. He's gonna stone X again, he's gonna kill us, and he's gonna set up the spikes, which is perfectly fine. So we're just gonna click this. Yeah. Schmancy kinda did its job. Kind of, sort of. How fast? Cleaver is like not slow, but it's not particularly particularly fast. He, okay, we'll do outspeed it. Okay. This is not gonna be pretty. <laughs> This is not going to be pretty. If he switches, he outsped. How was my Nantel's bill? Time out. Wait, what? Tailwind. <laughs> oh, tailwind, 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 tailwind. That's not. Tailwind, tailwind, tailwind. I forgot about that. You should be able to finish him off. Realistically. If he switches, I'm gonna be so annoyed. Oh my god. I really expected that to kill. <laughs> Are you serious? Acrobatics incoming. I kind of want to die, not gonna lie. That sounds bad. <laughs> Rain dance. Yeah. Yeah. I figured one of his Pokemon was gonna have Rain Dance. Which one? I didn't freaking know, but I knew one of them. Wait, hold on. Let me look up Cleaver again because. I know it's defense is good. It's not that good. 
Am I tripping? Did I miss something? Um, let's just get up an extra hit. Why not? Acrobatics. Oh, that's annoying. I mean, even with the tailwind, we were we were kind of screwed. I don't think. I don't know how Protosynthesis would have worked against the, the Tailwind. Kinda just wanna give you up. Not even gonna lie. This doesn't really do anything against the rest of his team. It's GG's. I don't know if you guys have noticed. <laughs> it's over. The match is over. Like, there's no doubt about it. The match is over. Oh, the freaking stones. I swear if he switches, just kill me, dude. I know. You could have clicked another move. I'm aware. It really does not gonna matter. <laughs> We gotta do this. We gotta do this. Oh dear. I could see him clicking Rain Dance again. Yeah. Why are his Pokemon so bulky? <laughs> I swear. He's gonna go to Grimmsnarl. No, he stays in. Okay. I mean, Glyspore's defense is better. Too. Palafin. Nine Tails. Nine Tails. So he doesn't have to sacrifice his bigger hitter. Oh no, he does go Paladin. A jet punch in the rain is gonna freaking hurt. <laughs> not even gonna lie. I'm not even gonna. Oh, okay, he's gonna automatically withdraw. Nice. Just kill me, dude. <laughs> he's gonna set up a reflect. Crap, what did he use earlier? He used Parting Shot. Such a jerk. Here's the reflect. Which you actually do have something for it, so it's gonna live this. Let's see, if he Parting Shots here, I'm gonna be so upset. <laughs> oh my God. He's playing it safe. He just wants to finish the match. I'm not really mad. I, I get what he's doing. It is annoying, but I get I can fully understand what he's doing. He's gonna jet punch, <laughs> obviously. And it's shit kill. Uh, yeah. Even without the rain, it should kill. He just, just jet punch, bro. <laughs> like, you literally do not need to do this. <laughs> Palafin's defense is... I don't know if you guys have ever looked at Palafin's uh, hero stats. Gnarly, bro. Gnarly.
like actually disgustingly good. I could Terra, but there's no point. There's actually like zero point. Are you gonna switch? I swear if he switches to Grimstar, I'm actually gonna be so upset. <laughs> Doesn't kill. That one. Uh, I misplayed the Cleaver, if I'm being 100% honest. That's where I pretty much started. He definitely, I mean, it's the same situation as Ali, and he could have easily ended the match a lot sooner, but. It is what it is. Like I said, I'm not mad. I knew exactly what he was doing. He's just playing it safe. But, um, told you guys. <laughs> I called it. <laughs> that one, I, I know I said last week was supposed to be a loss, which we did kind of get lucky. Uh, I'm not going to lie. Last week, we did kind of get lucky. Um, but this week, looking at his team, I literally looked at his team for like 10 minutes. And I was like, yeah, we lost. <laughs> we were getting mad. We're going to get manhandled. This is going to be bad. I personally, my opinion keeps flip-flopping between Humberto and Jakey in terms of who has the best team. Humberto beat Jakey, so my inclination is to go with Humberto um, because of the coach plus the team. I think Jakey just is, is still kind of learning, so his team is very, very good. I think Humberto's, though, it's just, it's a freaking sword, <laughs> and it just, it's a battering ram, and it just knocks you over. Um... A little slightly annoyed, I will admit, at the way he played at the end. I mean, again, I get it. Not mad, just a little annoyed. Like, he could have just finished the match. He wants to play it safe. I get it, whatever. But it, we wasted a couple minutes there. <laughs> just end it. Um, but, yeah, that that's... Uh, oh, we were minus one with the Groudon. You know what I just realized? We were minus one with the Groudon on the Palafin. I just... Uh... Yeah, Palafin's defense is nutty regardless. Plus, he bulked up, so it wouldn't have mattered too much. Um, but yeah, this match, I just kind of chalked it, and I brought a team I thought would do okay. Um, I was hoping for a 6-3. We got a 6-2. Not great, <laughs> but it's all good. We'll bounce back next week. We have Pidge. To, actually, I don't know if we're going to bounce back next week. <laughs> we have Pidge next week. Uh, the final week of the regular season, and then we'll be heading to playoffs. Uh, for those of you who might not know, everyone goes to the playoffs, so... This could determine who we end up playing in the next round. I'm sweating like crazy. I'm freaking hot. It is hot in my room right now. <laughs> but yeah, that, that's going to be it for this one. We took the L. It's all good. I fully expected to, to take the L. Um, but yeah, anyways, that's going to be it for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, check out all these socials in the description. Follow and subscribe if it's necessary. It's all greatly appreciated. And of course, check out all these socials. Uh, all the socials. All the coaches. <laughs> that's what I meant to say. In the description. Check them all down below. Go follow and subscribe to them. Um, I think that's it. And of course, be sure to share social subscribe, friends, family, everyone you know. Let the people know only here at Red Tat. We'll see you guys in the next one.